Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Third law, action and reaction. Answer. Sure. I'd be happy to explain the third law of motion, also known as the law of action and reaction. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law is one of the fundamental principles of classical mechanics, proposed by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. Here's what it means in simpler terms. 1. Action. When one object exerts a force on a second object, the first object experiences a force that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the force it exerts. For example, if you push against a wall with a certain force, according to Newton's third law, the wall pushes back on you with an equal force in the opposite direction. 2. Reaction. The force exerted by the second object in response to the action is called the reaction force. In the example of pushing against a wall, your hand exerts a force on the wall, action, and the wall exerts an equal and opposite force back on your hand, reaction. This law applies to all interactions between objects, whether they are in contact, like pushing against a wall, or exerting forces at a distance, like gravitational or electromagnetic forces. It emphasizes that forces always occur in pairs. If object A exerts a force on object B, then object B simultaneously exerts a force of equal magnitude but opposite direction on object A. Understanding Newton's third law helps explain many phenomena in everyday life and is crucial in fields such as engineering, physics, and biomechanics.